Hi, and welcome back to Hello Insider, where we'll be breaking down Line of Duty Season 6, Episode 6. This episode finally gave us some answers as it picked up from the major cliffhanger between Kate Fleming and Ryan Pilkington and saw Kate and Joe running from the law. Kate and Joe are nowhere to be found. Ryan's dead. Like, what did you make of that scene? Because honestly, personally, I was watching it, and I don't know about the viewers at home, but I was watching it thinking, like, what on earth? Like, why is Kate with her? <laughs> like, why didn't she stay at the scene? Like, this the woman literally just tried to get her murdered. I had visions of AC12 coming in, and just Kate stood by Ryan's body, and that being, and that being that. She was given a firearm. She didn't do anything. So exactly so i don't i don't really i don't really understand and also you know police officers do sometimes do that especially if they're afos one thing that we need to consider is that like kate genuinely does like joe and it's like you know i think we've spent all the series thinking like oh is she having her on is she like you know nestling up to her to get information this sort of thing but i think like fundamentally like especially from this episode kate just likes Joe, doesn't think that she's a Ben Cop and wants to help her and that maybe and maybe that's explanation enough for why she sticks with her. Patricia mm -hmm. Carmichael exhibited, I think, a lot of very suspicious behaviour. She did, and she was really unhappy with Steve and Ted's methods, wasn't she? She was proper stifling them. Every question that they wanted to ask, she was like, I think we should move on, I think we should move on. There's more to the reason why she's here, definitely. She's not just taking over AC12, she's being given orders by the top man, I think. And she really doesn't like the idea that Ted and Steve are so close to just uncovering everything. My thought was, you know, she believed someone else was her father. And when they showed Marcus Thurwell picture, she obviously knew who it was. So is the thought mm. that she believed that Marcus was her actual father before this horrible interview? Yeah, the yeah, quite possibly, quite possibly. And it'd be really interesting if that's, if that's the tie, actually. And that would make sense about Tommy wanting protection for his son and therefore getting it because Marcus was the SIO during that case, so. Ah, smart. Was the fact that mm. it's uh, an A-list um, face just a massive decoy here? Or is it that it's not actually him and Marcus is still out there somewhere who's going to be in the show more significantly? What do you reckon? I, I don't think he is dead because I know they were using that body cam footage and one of the AFOs said Marcus Farewell. It might not have been his body. They haven't ID'd him yet. So it's possible that, you know, it was someone else's body and he went on the run. Maybe he got a tip off that the police were coming after him in Spain and then did a runner. Um, I mean, I yeah, and as you said, I just, I don't, I'm not sure I buy that they would get James Nesbitt to come on and, you know, that that face on the screen being like, oh my God, it's James Nesbitt, only, only for him to not actually make an appearance. This episode has your perception on who H may be changed. I think it is Osborne, and I think even after episode six, I'm fairly certain it's him, I reckon. I mean, the fact that he would... Chloe was instructed to take his face off the board and dramatically put in a shredder. Like they can't yeah. just put another picture out. Like, no, that's it now. <laughs> Evidence exactly. <is> gone. <laughs> Osborne is in frequent communication with Carmichael. And it was Carmichael that ordered Chloe yeah. to take the picture down and shred it so they're obviously you know on the blower a lot of people have been saying as well both in the comments and on social media um that they think that um and is it andrea wise the um the assistant chief commissioner is involved oh yeah um, and yeah. the one that told ted that he had to retire yeah a lot lots of people think that she might be involved as well and maybe even h less of a theory more of a prediction for next week as well do you think that um Joe taking the rap for Ryan's shooting is like, that's a closed case, or do you think that the truth is gonna get exposed? You know, they're both they're both smart coppers. They know that little things like that really do come out. Like, I know, I know the theory is quite legit, and when Joe was saying that the residue went on Kate's sleeve as she handed over the gun, but ultimately, I feel like they must know that nothing really gets past, especially, especially AC12, but also, the investigation team as well. So I can't help but think it probably is going to come out and it's going to end up being much worse for them both. Oh, we'll have to wait and see. Also, can I just say, like, massive hat tip to people in our YouTube comments who actually guessed 
that the two gunshots we heard was Kate doing a double tap because she's firearms trained. Like that's yeah. genius. Like that level of detail, I'm like honestly so impressed. Thank you so much for joining us and we can't wait to see you again next week as we talk about the Line of Duty season finale. Um, in the meantime, head over to hellomagazine.com and read all of our content about Line of Duty. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.